hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by my name is Juliet in this video we'll be making this lovely dress so here I have my fabric for the front and back folded into two using the child's chest measurement divided by four plus two inches of allowance and then another one and a half for zip for the back so here's the back piece. I'm marking the zip allowance, which is one and a half inches. I'm going to mark it all the way down and connect into a straight line. So next, I'll place the front piece on that zip allowance line. Then we'll go ahead to mark the shoulder measurement. The shoulder I'm working with here is 5. That shoulder of 10 divided by 2, making it 5. So it's 5 are marked. And then I'm marking armhole of 6 inches. So I'm curving the armhole, as you can see. Then I mark 3 inches for the neck width. And then on the armhole line, I came down by half inch and I connected to that 3 inches point to form the shoulder slope. Right here, I'm marking the neck width of 3 inches and neck depth of 3 inches as well. I'm going to connect that and curve. That will be the front neckline. So, I'm going to mark one and a half inches for the back neckline notice that i marked that one all across to the back piece and then i curved it out so next i'm going to cut the back neckline first then cut the shoulder slope and the armhole After which, I will open the back piece into two. Then I take it out and cut the front neckline. I'm cutting the front neckline only on the front piece, as you can see. So I'll go on ahead and cut lining pieces for both the front and the back. I don't add that to children's um, wears. I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to turn the lining with the main fabric. I place them right sides together. I'll sew the neck and then sew the sides. I'm going to leave the armhole like that because I'm adding a sleeve to it. But if you're not adding a sleeve, you finish the armhole as well. So for the back, I sew the neckline, the zip side, and the side seam. So after sewing, I turned them to the right side and I ironed. Look how clean they are looking. <laughs> so here I'm marking one inch at the back for the zip allowance. So after turning it out, it's no longer one and a half, it's now one inch because we've used half inch to turn it, obviously. So I'm going to go sew that down. And then I'll be back. But first, I have here a piece of Dolphy satin in the color yellow. I'm going to, it's 5 inches wide and 28 inches long. That's two of them. So I'm going to fold that into two, sew it close, right sides together, and then close one end. This is going to be the belt for the dress then i have another piece here which is going to form that band in front so i'm putting it into two wrong size together so i'm putting it to the wrong wrong size together here so i want that band to be two inches so i'm marking two inches like so, it's going to be only on the front. Folded into two, two inches wide. So 
So this is where it's going to sit. So after sewing the zip allowance, I ironed it and this is what we have for the back. Then over to the front, we're going to mark the, the child's measurement first of all. So I'm marking quarter of the chest measurement up here and then quarter of the waist measurement. I'm going to connect those. And then I'll turn it to the other side and repeat the same thing. So here again, I'm marking quarter of the chest measurement up here and then quarter of the waist measurement on the down part. So here I'm checking to be sure I have half of the waist measurement down and then half of the chest measurement on the upper part. Back to the right side, I am placing this band piece on it like so. I'm going to pin it down just to make sure it doesn't move. So I'm marking half inch up from this edge. I'm marking half inch. Then here's the belt turned out and ironed. I'm going to place it on that half inch point. On that half inch line I just made. I'll place the belt there and I will pin it down. So I'm going to do the same thing for this other side. I'll place the belt on that five half inch line I drew and then I will pin it in place. That half inch is for us to join to the lower part of the dress. So we don't want to sew on the belt so we leave space but we don't want the belt too far from the seam as well. So five inches, half inch. It's just perfect. So I'm placing the back piece on top of the front piece, right sides together. We're going to join the shoulders like so, fabric to fabric, lining to lining, and sew it close. Then we'll sew the on those lines. So here is it all done. Shoulder sewn, side seams sewn, and it's taking shape. So this is it for the upper part. We're going to add a flower piece to that band later on. So next up, I'm opening the zip allowance, the zip line. I'm opening it up. So now I'm going to measure from this point all the way to this other side so the dress has key splits about seven of them so each split is going to be four inches so four inches multiplied by seven whatever you get is what you're going to add to that measurement I got from the waistline before we we'll now divide by 6.28 so I'm going to leave an example on the screen for you to see so for the length of the skirt part we're going to add nine inches of um door face satin so whatever it is whatever length you get on the down part you subtract the part that is going to be satin and then leave the other part let's say we have 19 for the lower skirt and then we'll remove nine for the door face we'll have 10 so we'll be working with a length of 10 for this uh, full circle so here I'm marking the radius which is about 9 from my calculation 
that's including my waist round the baby's waist round plus the extra inches for the key splits and then plus the length of the skirt part which is what i'm marking here So after cutting it out, I'm going to open it into two, like so. So next up, I will be installing the key split. I have a video on this channel where I showed you how I install key split to my garment. So you may want to check that out. So here's the center front. I checked that to the side seam and I marked the middle. Then on this side again. From the center point to the side seam, I mark the middle again. The same thing for the back. From the side seam to the zip allowance line, I marked the center. So these are the points where the key splits are going to sit. So placing them right sides together, I'm going to place the edge to this corner, leaving about half inch hanging and then i pinned to that first mark i made on the back i measured four inches and then i pinned back at that point again so two of them are touching each other like so then i'm going to pin to the side seam again like so then from there i'll measure four inches which is what i added for each pleat i measure four inches then I place it again on the side seam, two of them backing each other. <laughs> the next, I'm going to locate the next point where I want the pleat to sit. I'll pin. Then I will measure four inches, and then I'll pin again right, right on that mark. See, I'll take it up to the next mark, which is the center seam, center point. I pin it, then I measure 4 inches, then I pin it again on that same point, not on top of each other, just right beside it, no space. Then I'm going to pin again to the next mark, like so, and then I will measure 4 inches again, then place it right there, and pin. Next is the size same here going to pin then from there measure four inches place it right beside each other leaving no space at all but not placing them on top of each other then i'll pin again next is the last point at the back I'm going to repeat the same thing pin it measure four inches place it there and then I'm also going to leave about half inch of space at this other end as well, just like we did at the beginning. So this is just the first aspect of um, installing the key splits. We are not done yet, but look at it on the right side. It's already taking shape, as you can see. Okay, so back to the wrong side. We're going to locate the middle of that 4 inch and place it on top of, at the point where those two points met initially. So we're going to pin to one side and then pin to another side. And here again, get the middle of the, uh -huh, place it on top of those two points initially and then pin 
on one side and pin to the other side there's a lot of pinning if you're doing exactly what i'm doing make sure you remove all the pins when you're done very important so the same thing here get the middle place the midpoint where those two points met and then pin the excess to this side and the excess to the other side get the midpoint here place it on top of where those two points met pin to one side and then pin to another side same thing we're going to keep doing the same thing until we finish all of the pleats So now that everything is done, we're going to take it to the machine and just sew both pieces together like so. so. Here I'm measuring around the lower part. That way we know just how much satin we'll be adding. It was at this point that I started to regret using a full circle skirt. I should have used a half circle because it seemed too much. See, I'm going to measure again like So here is a satin piece, I'm marking 9 inches each, according to what I measured there, I will need 3 of them. All in all, I used 1 yard of dolphin satin for this dress. So I'm just going to join them to get one long strip. So, I've sewn the dress together. This is what the pleats are looking like. They came out really nice. They're looking good. So, next up, after joining this satin pieces to form a long strip, I'm going to join them to the lower part like so, right sides together. Use about half inch to sew it all the way, and here is it all done. I also went ahead to fold the down part. Next, we're going to work on the lining and the hard net. So, here's my lining piece, I folded it into four. I'm just using the width of the lining, which is about 60 inches, and then for the length, I made it shorter by Four inches so the skirt part is the lining is shorter than four inches shorter by four inches sorry and then for the width it is the entire width of the lining is about 16 inches so I'm going to hem the lower part but before then I'm going to mark two inches on the wrong side I assume this is the wrong side. I'm marking two inches from the top all the way to form a straight line.
So next is my hard net. Here I have hard net about I have about one yard. So the owner of the dress didn't want it too full. So we're working with only one yard of hard net here. So I folded it into four. And I'm going to cut it such that it's a little bit shorter than this lining piece, starting from that two inches point we marked. So I've cut one and then I'm cutting another. I recommend you use two yards of net. That is what is going to give you the fullness that is close to the picture on the thumbnail as possible. So I'm going to join it together to get one long rectangle after which i will pleat it on top of that two inches line so i'm going to place it like this see where the net is facing i will make pleats like so just random pleats 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 all the way after which this is how it's going to fall so i've done that i joined the net together and then i pleated them this way and turning them over this is how they are sitting so next I'm going to fold this into two and then I will notch then I will fold again into two making it four folds and I will notch again then here is my dress my unfinished dress so what I did was that I placed the four notches, one on the center point, the center notch on the center front, I pinned that, then one side notch on the side seam, and then this edge I pinned it to this point, leaving half inch as well, hanging like I did the main fabric. The same thing on this side, I located the next notch and I pinned it on the side seam. Then I pinned the other end to the other end, leaving half inch hanging at the edge. So next we're just going to pleat the excess into the spaces like that, like that. After which we will join the sides. Using the half inch we left for both lining and main fabric, we're going to sew it down like so, including the hard net. The same thing on this side, we're going to place them together and sew them. That way the side seam will look clean as well. So here is it with the pleats in place and the side seams joined. This is what it's looking like on the right side. See how clean the inside is looking now. That is what you want. That is what you should want. <laughs> okay, so I'm removing the pins. Making sure I don't leave any pin. No. Ah, very important. So this is what we have. There is a significant amount of fullness already showing as you can see. And this is the side I was talking about. I had a little accident, hence the black mark. You can see that's machine oil. So I've gone ahead to join the side seams and I added a zipper to my dress. And that's it. I'm going to add the sleeves later, but that will be in our next video. So if you didn't plan to add the sleeve, remember I said you finished the armhole as well. 
and this is the flower pieces i'm going to add to this side that is it for this video in my next video i'll show you how i made this trendy balance sleeve thank you so much for watching you guys please like share comment and subscribe bye